Hi, welcome to this segment. Uh, in this segment, we are going to discuss programmable logic array. This is part of our DLD review or digital logic design review uh, for our course CSC 340 computer architecture. Now, let's see what is PLA or programmable logic array. As this, this block diagram shows, uh, it's basically has input end where the inputs are fixed as well as it has output which are also fixed. Now, since this is a block diagram, so we are not, uh, we, are, we are not pretty sure what is inside this box. Now, let's see what is inside this box uh, step by step wise. So let's uh, break this up and see what what can we uh, find uh, obviously in, a, in using a block diagram in the in the next step we'll see a block diagram which is little bit more detailed than this one so we'll have a box for the inputs we have inputs it's let's say a b and so on and what this box will do is this will compute compute product for all these inputs now we'll have another box And output from this box will go directly to this box. What this this uh, this new box will do is will compute sum, and we'll have our y one, y two, and so on. So we will have our output now as you can see what this part is doing this part is actually calculating or uh, performing sum of product sum of product so till this part what we can say that in programmable logic array we perform sum of product but still this is not very clear because we do not know how this this box is working as well as we do not know how this box is going to work to do that we need to break it further now how can we do that let's see uh, let's say we have a We have B, this one will give you, this link will give you A prime, this link will give you B, a B prime and we have C, these are the three inputs that we have. So, let me tell you that right now we are trying to see how this box works, okay? Now, what this box does, it actually performs product. To perform product, what do we need to do? We need to use AND gate. So, let's use some AND gates. And what we'll do, we'll create a scenario where this AND gate, this AND gate, this AND gate, or any AND gate after this can take any input, a, a, any, any, any value as input. That means 
this and gate are open to take a or a prime b or b prime c or c prime how can we do that what we we need to do we need to create an open circuit for all these and gates will be creating an open circuit so that any and gate can take any available inputs so this is uh, what it should look like now from this part you can see this and gate can take a as input if you if we shoulder here or it can take a prime as input if we shoulder here similarly as b it can take b or if we shoulder here it can take b prime and so on this is how it works so this is the product part that means we're done with this box now what about this one this is the sum which means we need to come up we need to use or gates so let's see the design with or gates Let's say this one would give us y1 and this one would give us y2. See, when we were designing uh, the inside circuit for a computing product, we use this open form. Similarly, for computing sum, we again use this open circuit. Why? Let me uh, let me adjust my uh, camera a bit, a bit so so that you can see. Now, as you can see, this Y one and this Y two. Y one for for generating Y one, this OR gate or generating Y two, this OR gate can take any input coming from this one, this one, this one, or if we have more. Uh, uh, and gates then there will be more links coming down here so this is a general circuit or this is a this is a open circuit we need to come up with the open circuit in the first place for designing a pla we need to remember that no matter what the expression that we are looking for first of all we need to come up with this open circuit so this is the open circuit that can generate expression that your circuit might require so now coming back to another uh, uh, coming back to an example where this pla can be used it may be used in 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 your uh, ac in your ac if you remember or if you if you uh, if you uh, look carefully then you would see that ac has fixed operations it never changes it has fixed set of operations and if you uh, uh, think uh, carefully then you understand that all those operations are nothing but boolean expressions which means the circuit that you have inside your ac are executing some boolean expression so if you know in advance what are those expressions then you can easily coming up come up with a pla for that ac you 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 take an open circuit and you see the expressions that you need you just shoulder them up that's how it works so this is the open circuit and now you can uh, use this open circuit to execute some expression let's say one of the expression is something like this y1 is a b prime 
प्लस ए प्राइम बी ए प्राइम बी सी प्राइम एंड वाई टू इज ए बी प्राइम प्लस ए बी एंड सी लेट से we have these two expressions in our uh, in our hand how can we make this pla execute these two expression so first of all we need to see what is uh, what uh, what expression y has y has a b prime a prime b c prime now a b prime so let's let me write this a b prime if this and gate has to take a b prime then i need to shoulder here and then i need to shoulder here and then we need to uh, have a prime b c prime let's write here a prime b c prime so a prime is this one you shoulder here Uh, b you shoulder here and c prime you shoulder here see this one and this one are the same so you just need to come up with the uh, uh, shouldering pattern for this one a b c a and you have b and you have c so this is a b and c now y1 this y1 so this is y1 how can you get y1 Uh, a b prime plus a prime b c prime. So this is your a b prime and a prime b c prime. We do not need any third uh, input, so this one uh, has nothing. So the output will be uh, based on the these two uh, uh, signals coming from these two links. And y two is this one and this one. Now this circuit can. Execute these two expression. If you practice at home, then you would see that, for example, let's say y three is something like this: a prime b c prime plus a b c. If you have this expression as y three, you can easily come up with the the shouldering pattern for uh, this one. so this what a pla is uh, so in the next section we'll discuss a new topic of in dld review thank you